this session let us discuss assignment LCD 2. You can look at the first question limit x tending to 0 x tend to x x tend to x minus 2 x tan x divided by 1 minus cos 2 x whole square 1 minus cos 2 x whole square. Now, when you look at this question you can see a standard limit limit extending to 0 1 minus cos a x by x square we all know through the discussion limit extending to 0 1 minus cos a x by x square is a square by 2. So, directly let us use this result here limit extending to 0 1 minus cos a x by x square is a square by 2. So, 1 minus cos a x we can replace it by a square x square by 2 whole square that makes it 4 and 4 let us write it outside the limit. And we have in place of a in this particular question 1 minus cos 2 x. So, this will also be 2 square 4 and 4 square is 16 4 by 16 is 1 by 4 and x square whole square we can see it as x power 4. Now, you can see one x common in the numerator it gets cancelled with one x in the denominator. Now, our question is tan 2 x minus 2 tan x divided by x cube tan 2 x all of us know 2 tan x by 1 minus tan square x. Now, let us simplify this question. This limit is 1 by 4 limit extending to 0 tan 2 x we will write it as 2 tan x by 1 minus tan square x and 2 tan x can be taken common from the numerator 2 tan x by I will lend 1 x from the denominator to 2, ta 2 tan x into we are left with 1 by 1 minus tan square x minus 1 divided by x square. Now, we all know tan x by x as x tends to 0 is 1. So, we can replace tan x by x with 1. Now, simplify take LCM 1 and 1 gets cancelled minus of minus tan square x is tan square x we have the limit to be 1 by 4 limit extending to 0 2 we can take it out of the limit and 2 cancels with 1 by 4 makes it 1 by 2 1 and 1 got cancelled we have tan square x in the numerator divided by x square into 1 by 1 minus tan square x. Now, you can all see as x tends to 0 tan x by x is 1. So, tan square x by x square will also be 1 this limit it would be 1 and as x tends to 0 tan x tends to 0. So, 1 by 1 minus tan square x is also 1. So, effectively our answer would be half or the right option is C. If limit extending to 5 limit extending to 5 x power lambda minus 5 power lambda x power lambda minus 5 power lambda divided by x minus 5 is given to be 500 is given to be 500 then we are asked for positive values of lambda if limit extending to 5 x power lambda minus 5 power lambda divided by x minus 5 is 500 we have to find the positive values of lambda. Now, this question is in a standard format of limit extending to a x power n minus a power n divided by x minus a and we all know the answer it will be n a power n minus 1. So, for this question the limit is going to be lambda a is 5 here 
per lambda minus 1 and this is given to be 500. Now, 500 let us prime factorize it 500 is 125 into 4 and 125 is 5 cube into 4 is let us write it as 4. Now, we have 5 power lambda minus 1 into lambda given to be equal to 5 power 3 into 4. From this equation you can directly see that lambda equal to 4 satisfies the given equation. So, lambda it has to be 4 or among the options it is b. Next question let f of x is equal to x if x is less than 0, 1 if x is equal to 0, x square if x is greater than 0 and we have to find limit extending to 0 f of x. So, function is given f of x is equal to x if x is less than 0, 1 if x is equal to 0 and x square when x is greater than 0 and we are asked to evaluate limit extending to 0 f of x. Now, we know limit extending to 0 f of x exists only when left hand limit exists right hand limit exists and both of them are same. So, let us evaluate limit extending to 0 minus f of x separately. Limit extending to 0 minus left hand limit x is slightly less than 0 and whenever x is slightly less than 0 f of x is defined as x. So, this is limit extending to 0 minus x which is 0. So, left hand limit we can see it is 0 and let us look at right hand limit limit extending to 0 plus f of x that means, we have to evaluate the limit when x is slightly greater than 0. So, when x is slightly greater than 0 f of x is defined as x square f of x is defined as x square. So, this is limit extending to 0 plus x square or simply 0 again. So, our answer because limit extending to 0 minus and limit extending to 0 plus are same and both of them equal to 0 answer would be 0. So, limit extending to 0 f of x is equal to 0 it is option A answer is option A.